In 2020, Palau shut its borders to a projected 100,000 tourists as global coronavirus cases surged. While Palau has managed to avoid the worst health impacts, the pandemic has not come without consequences, especially to an economy dependent on tourism. Tourism actually from 2018 towards 2019 was picking up steam. And it was looking to be one of the better years that we could have had. Then COVID hit. When COVID hit, it completely, um, I would say, devastated the industry. Our economy is, has um, uh, it's always been based on tourism. And right now we have no tourism. So we uh, in the government have taken the policy or the strategy to make sure that the main income source uh, for the economy is maintained, basically government employment. Uh, and then to help the private sector and protect the future of the private sector when uh, tourism resumes, we have been supporting uh, unemployment. A lot of companies had to either shut down or slow down. Hotels closed their doors. The government took steps to mitigate, so we passed what's called the Cross Act, uh, which was legislation to support the uh, fo largely foreign employment uh, mixed with Palau employment. We're very fortunate that the United States included Palau in their CARES Act, and that also um, supported a lot of the employment, uh, the partially unemployed and fully unemployed Palauans. So if not for those two programs, Palau would be in a worse position. These uh, uh, steps have, have helped to keep our economy at a, a, sub, a sustainable level uh, during the pandemic. Uh, it's not something that we can maintain uh, very long. Uh, the assistance from the United States for unemployment insurance and, uh, benefits, the uh, amount of money that we're spending on capital projects, road improvements and, and other improvements to our infrastructure, these are all helping the economy, but uh, doesn't help as much as uh, when we restart tourism. At the end of the day, the Palau people, need, we need services. We need good hospitals, we need good schools, but those cost money and we can't continue to rely on grants. We need to eventually become truly independent and find uh, financial means for ourselves. Uh, it will take several years, in our opinion, to recover um, back to the levels that uh, we were at back in 2019. Uh, but we do believe there is a, uh, a big possibility that we, we can recover quickly if we implement the reforms that we are proposing, including uh, the tax reform. Uh, tax reform will allow us to come back to a better economy, not just come back to the one that we had. Um.